People are from a band called A Few Random Friggin' Drunks. A Few right. Random Drunks, yes, sir. I'm Josh okay. Preston. I'm the front man and rhythm guitarist. Uh, however, you're not going to be a rhythm guitarist now because you got a broken arm. And that here, is right? true. And I how did. did you uh, do that? I broke my right hand. Well, you know, it was uh, kind of a funny story. Dave, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. I oh, appreciate that. Sure. Um, St. Patty's Day, you know, with a band. I tell people often with a name like A Few Random Drunks, it's not just a band name, it's a warning. Uh, you know, and, and I, yeah, yeah it, you know, it's, I mean, that's just, that's just how we roll. So anyway, the, uh, you know, me and the girlfriend weren't getting along too well and I decided to put my uh, fist through a wall, you know? Wow. So yeah, it was, it was, um, well, that, that, that it was one of those things, but, yeah. mellow here. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, for the record though, never hit a lady. I've never done that in my life. Nothing like yeah. that, you know, That's but, good, yeah. but plaster, anything like that, not safe around me, Dave. It's yeah. not safe. <laughs> you know, bricks, bricks. bricks. Well, I think I learned my lesson. I might, I might, I might have learned my lesson on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'll be hitting any any more bricks. It turns out that my kung fu skills are not what I thought they were. You know? I see the CD that you gave me. Your girlfriend must have had because she crossed out some of the words. It says one random drunk bastard. <laughs> that's that's a that's a yeah. possibility. And she also wrote in the inside cover, "Now you can't masturbate from that hand." <laughs> you're really screwed now, right? Well, you know, I'm ambidextrous, so. It, it really, it really works out all right, dude. So what does ambidextrous like mean? No, I, I found out what what that means. That means he's going to masturbate himself with that hand, and he's going to masturbate another guy with the other hand. That's what that means. Ah, oh, Dave, come on now. Come Mike, on now. you're sitting next to him at this moment? Now, come on, Dave. I'll pass, Dave. I don't think that's ambidextrous. I think that's just a good friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music? What kind of music? Uh, it's it's a uh, kind of a it's a kind of a humble drunken party rock really you uh -huh. know but uh, it's got a lot of Americana influences nice, um, nice. you know we we definitely like to stick close to the roots of uh, where we grew up in Tempe uh -huh. you know um, so you ever you ever uh, grow up in the whole Mill Avenue scene with the uh, oh yeah man that's the absolutely the refreshments oh and... yeah that's absolutely what I cut my teeth on as a matter of fact the first show I ever went to was. Uh, Arizona State Fair, 1995. I saw Gin Blossoms with uh, the refreshments and the Pistoleros, Dead Hot Workshop. Um, and I actually went out the very next day after that, realizing that all those guys came from the same town that I lived in. And I bought my first guitar after nice. seeing that show. And, um, and yeah, that's... a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. And that's uh, part of what I'm here to promote is now we're playing a lot of shows uh, you know, with those guys. We've kind of jumped on board with the Tempe music scene, you know, so uh, we're playing a show uh, this Saturday night at Goathead Saloon uh, there at 1423 South Country Club Drive. Uh, we're going to be playing with the Persuaders, though, which uh, features Lawrence Zubia, who's uh, the lead singer of the Pistoleros, Pistoleros and yeah, uh, Scott, right. Scotty Andrews, the bass player, uh, Thomas Laufenberg, you know, from uh, Dead Hot Workshop, um, and we got Philip Rhodes of uh, Gin Blossoms, Blossoms, who's going to be the drummer yes. on that show, you know, and... Um, uh, Jim Swafford from the Peacemakers and Jen Blossoms. He's done a lot of work with them, you know, so uh, we'll be opening the show for those guys. And the uh, show starts about, um, about uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock, right in there. I think they're opening doors. We're going to be playing uh, also with uh, a bunch of bands. Uh, Michael Treach, um, Creepy Jack is one of the bands that will be there, a bunch of guys I went to high school with. Uh, so that'll be a nice little high school reunion for us, <laughs> you know. And uh, another cat named Franco Diddy Danko who's been playing around the valley for a long time, and uh, he's one of the pioneers of Ether Bunny Records. So it's really going to be a good show, you know, with a lot of Tempe's old school. Um, is that your label, Ether Bunny? Are you released on that? Uh, yes, I am. I am affiliated and uh, work for the label myself. Um, mostly I do promotion um, with the label. Love the name. Um, the thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. You know, uh, you ever been visited by the Ether Bunny? No, not yet. No. By the Ether Bunny? Yeah, the Ether no. Well, that's because you're not sitting next to me, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought we touched base on that one already. And, and I, I see uh, Blues Review Band here. You guys are drooling because you found a white guy that can promote. I'm about to eat the bunny. <laughs> well, hey man, we can all take a trip to my car and visit the Ether Bunny after after the recording. You know, <laughs> right.
Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the first track on the record is called Floundering, and I think that's kind of self-explanatory. I was just kind of walking through a phase of my life where I didn't really know what to do, and I wrote a song about it, and somehow that turned into a hit for us. Uh, it's selling well on iTunes. Our whole record's for sale on iTunes. Um, you can pick up the whole album for six bucks, and yeah, the first track is called Floundering. 